Good morning. Today I thought I would do a tea I drink in the day video, but instead of teas that I usually drink, I pulled out all the teas I could find that I have not opened or have not tried from my tea stash because they are just sitting there and I tend to reach for the same things over and over. So I thought it would be fun to try to force myself to do some things that were a little bit different. So I've got several from Bird and Blend from their monthly tea subscription that I hadn't opened. I have a couple from the Tea Spot. Uh, this one is the only one that is open and I had only opened it to smell it. I've never actually tried it, so that's why I included this one. And then some more Bird and Blend and there's actually a couple David's Tea ones that from the advent calendar that I don't think I've actually ever tried or if I did then I don't remember what they tasted like. Um, so I've got the Satsuma Spice Cake, Sunny Sea, Tulsi Tranquility. I can't remember if I tried this one or not. And then from Iron Goddess I have Lady, Lady Lavender. I have Shagadelic English Breakfast. And then from Bird and Blend I have Mojiti and I put three of them in here thinking maybe I'll do an iced tea, so I'll want it brewed a little bit stronger, and I just have the, the tea bags. I have Queen of Tarts I from Bird and Blend. I don't tend to like tart tea, which is why I've never opened that one. Mistletoe and Wine, uh, it's a fruity infusion, and Mince Pie, which I have had their Mince Pie Matcha. I just don't think I've had their Mince Pie regular tea. So. I'll have to see which ones I'm going to save for later, the non-caffeinated. I don't know if I have any non-caffeinated. Maybe the, the David's Tea, Sunny Sea, and Tulsi Tranquility. I'll save those for tonight or later in the afternoon, and then I'll drink some of these others. Let's see, the Queen of Tarts doesn't have caffeine either, so that could be an afternoon one. Mistletoe and Wine. I think that one's a fruity infusion also. So looks like I have several I can choose from with and without caffeine. So I pulled out this smaller perfect mug from David's Tea. It's a clear one with gold leaves. I like this one. Um, I thought this would be a good one so I could show you the color of the teas also. I have a little teaspoon. I don't have my big David's Tea perfect spoon because I might want smaller scoops since I'm using a smaller spoon. And then, yeah, so I've got everything out and ready. I'm excited to have a tea of new teas to me, and um, we'll have to see what I end up drinking today. I'm going to go ahead and start with the Shigadelic English Breakfast. It smells like a really nice English breakfast tea. Here is what it looks like, and I've just used one big scoop in my mug. I'm waiting for my water to boil in my Cuisinart variable temperature kettle and I have it set to boiling. It says, let me get this to focus, four full leaf black tea blended to boost your mojo. One round a teaspoon for eight ounces water. Use boiling water, steep three to five minutes. So I think I will go ahead and steep it for three minutes and then I will add some half and half to it because that's how I don't usually like black tea Plain. It upsets my stomach a little bit, so the, the creamer, uh, the half and half, which I usually add, will just help curb that. So I'm excited to try this one. I'm going to have another cup of black tea this morning, and this one is the Lady Lavender from the Tea Spot. And it's got, it smells really nice. It's got a lot of lavender in the tea, mixed in with the tea leaves, as you can see. Um, I'm going to use a rounded teaspoon for this mug, like it says on the, the bag. And then I'll steep it for three minutes with boiling water. I am afraid that the lavender will be a little bit too strong for me, as I... I wouldn't say I, I hate, I don't like floral in tea, because I do like jasmine. But the last time I had a tea with lavender, I wasn't a huge fan of it. So I'll have to see if that's overwhelming or not. Um, I've read online a lot of people like this with honey or with a little sweetener um, or also a lot of people add cream, some people add it, keep it plain. It's also supposed to be really good iced, but I'm not ready to have any iced tea. So I'm just going to try this, I think plain hot, and then I'll probably put a splash of cream in it, just depending on what I think. 
I also want to add that the first tea that I made, Shagadelic English Breakfast, it was really nice and smooth. Um, I think this was a really lovely, really lovely tea. So I wasn't in love with the lavender of the last cup. I tried drinking it plain and then uh, it just, my stomach was bothering me a little bit. And so I added some cream and it was a little overwhelming for me. Although it was not an overwhelming lavender flavor. Um, I just, for me, it was a little bit much. I do think it, I think the way that I'll probably drink the rest is I'll probably make a teapot of it for like a afternoon tea with the kids and I think it would be good with some sugar and milk in it just as like a you know small cup or two um, I think that's how we'll like it the best so what I'm having next is Queen of Tarts from Bird and Blend and I'm gonna go run a couple errands gotta go get more dog food and I am making it in my David's Tea tea press and this tea probably came last summer in their tea club but it says, the Queen of Hearts brewed a jam tart and sipped it all summer long. And it has apple pieces, rose hip, hibiscus, toasted rice, freeze dried raspberry, and natural flavoring. And so I added a teaspoon of rock sugar to this one to hopefully make it so it's not so tart. And then I'm just gonna brew this for five minutes and add ice with my tea press. And then I will be heading out. I haven't used my tea press in a while and I always love watching the, the tea come up into the ice. It's so fun. Um, and I do want to say when this was brewing, there was this really nice toasted rice scent, which I really like the Genmaicha teas. So that little addition, the toasted rice, was kind of fun for this blend and I'm curious to see how it's going to taste. So I've only taken a couple sips of this and I have to say I really, really like this tea. This is really yummy. And it might be the teaspoon of rock sugar that I added. I'm not sure how it would be plain, but I really enjoy the toasted, the toastiness from that rice, and then the kind of the the fruity flavor, and then it's a little sweet, and just the flavors really work nice together. So I've just added a straw to this, and I'm going to go run my errands, and I'll be back later to show you what tea I have next from the little bag of, or the little basket of goodies. I have to say this is really fun trying new things. Whether I like them or not, it's a lot of fun. And it's almost like I've gotten a new order to unbox without actually ordering more tea. Okay, so I am back just for a brief little bit between Abby's dance classes. And I am going to make some mojito tea from Bird and Blend. And this one is, I don't know if this is focused or not, peppermint, Chinese green tea, lime leaves, lime peel, and lemongrass. And I added a little bit of rock sugar that I still have from Tivana. And I'm using two tea bags of the mojito tea. And then I'll add the ice because it's like 90 degrees outside and I just don't want any hot tea right now. So. Um, I will make this. It smells really good and refreshing. Like it's gonna be really nice. So, I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. We will see, hopefully I like it. And that's what I'm drinking now. It's about two, it's a little after two in the afternoon right now. So I'm sure I will have time for more tea still today. Okay, so I'm thinking about making some mistletoe and wine, a pitcher of it to have with dinner in my David's Tea iced tea, uh, large pitcher iced tea pressed. But um, I kind of am curious what it tastes like plain. So I'm gonna make a little mug of it and try it hot and plain. I downed that last cup of iced tea. I think I was really thirsty. Um, it was really nice and refreshing. There was something about it that I didn't love, love, love. Maybe the lime, I'm not really sure. Um, but it was good and I enjoyed it. Um, but this is really interesting. It's like fruity but spicy. So it seems like it might make a good iced tea. It's got hibiscus, cinnamon, apple pieces, cloves, lime leaves, red peppercorns, rosehip, sprinkles, a glazing agent. Okay, and then it's really festive and fun looking. Okay, you can see the cloves and the red peppercorns and the pieces of apple and the snowflake, snowflake sprinkles in there. Um, it's a fun looking tea. So I'm just going to try some of this hot and I'm gonna think about making it as a pitcher to have with dinner. So I made that mistletoe and wine hot 
And then I was looking it up to see if people have made it iced or if they add sweetener or what. And um, somebody said it tasted like soap to them. And so all I could smell in the hot cup was soap after that. And I don't know, I wasn't a fan. So I decided just to go for it. I thought maybe I would like it with some sweetener and iced better. So I just made a picture of it. And um, I'm just gonna put this in the, this was just the rest of that sample bag from the Tea Club of Mistletoe and Wine from Burnham Blend. And I'm just gonna put this in the fridge and we will have this with dinner and hopefully we will enjoy it. But that is what happened. I honestly could not drink that hot cup. So that was kind of sad that it went to waste. I should have just dumped it in to the pitcher, but I didn't. <laughs> I just, I dumped it out. But anyway, so I will let you know how we like this iced. And yeah, I'll let you know when I decide what I'm making next. So I'm going to close out the day with some Tulsi Tranquility. And I just, there was about um, a perfect spoon and a half in there. So I just dumped it all in into a Nordic size mug. And I will use 200 degree water. That's what it says. And I'll put it for five minutes. It smells really good. It smells really fruity though. So hopefully it's not tart. Mm, I did not like the iced tea at dinner. The feelings were kind of mixed. Some people liked it, some people didn't. Ellie told me not to dump it out, that she was going to want some more of it tomorrow. So we still have it in the fridge, so hopefully they finish that up tomorrow. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to try different teas. And I never got around to two of the teas in the basket, so maybe I'll get to those tomorrow. Sunny C and Satsuma Spice Cake. I really want to do the Satsuma Spice Cake as a latte and it was just too late to have all that caffeine by the time I wanted to make that. So maybe tomorrow. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Bye.